The people of St. Bernard Parish are a tight knit group. They always have been. They stick together during the tough times, and that's especially true when hurricanes threaten everything they've ever known. One of the best examples of that is a restaurant that lifted up the community post Katrina. This fiction, this is. This is what motivates me. These are the words that motivate Jeff Pullman, his voice still quivering as he reads them. And this is what keeps us so strong, keeps us pushing, fighting. Ten years after the storm that changed everything. But it brings back memories. Pullman's restaurant, today's catch, is thriving at 30 years, much like it was at 20 years, just before Katrina brought on that wall of water. I guess we take everything for granted, you know what I'm saying? Didn't realize. What the, the impact that she was going to do to such a community, such as St. Bernard Parish, and, and I tell everybody, I was just telling some customers, I feel that this was ground zero. This was ground zero for, for Katrina. Pullman lost it all. His home flooded to the roof. His restaurant barely visible. All he'd ever known wrecked in an instant. Thick mud and sludge everywhere. Cars and trucks tossed around. Unparalleled devastation. Prior to Katrina, uh, we had some little disturbances where they, had, you know, advised us to leave, you know, a, a two years or so, a year or two before, and we left. We took a pair of pants or two and went out like we was going on a picnic for two days and come home, and that's what we anticipated to do for Katrina, but uh, we was fooled. And when we came back with that pair of pants or two, that's what we had. That's only what we had. Pullman knew life would be different, but how different was the great unknown? We actually. After Katrina didn't know if we were going to be able to come back and open up. I mean, it was just. And, you know, it was just kind of thinking, well, gosh, this is our livelihood. Would other people come back? If they did, how many? Would Pullman be able to reopen the restaurant? Would he have to move somewhere else? He returned shortly after Katrina to find out. You had roughly five foot of water with a foot of it with, with marsh grass and mud and with a, a smell from that mud that you will never forget. Hopefully, you never smell. I hope I never smell it again, but I'll never forget it. Let me say that much. But he had work to do. So two months after Hurricane Katrina, it was time to get back to work. Time for today's catch to start feeding the people of St. Bernard once again. So they reopened and used these windows to serve people, and serve they did. They came from far and wide, lined up here, and stretched back for at least a block for months. We served many a dinner, and and people would come up and just hug and thank you for being here, you know, for them. And, and, and you know, they, they didn't owe me nothing. I just felt that I owed it to them as far as this community to bring it back. The quaint eatery on East Judge Perez in Chalmette was a sight for sore eyes after the storm. One of the only places open. One of the only places to get food. But the inside was still a disaster. Long days and short nights. And a lot of times you'd leave and you'd, you'd scratch your head and say, man, is this, re is this for real? You know what I'm saying? Is this, is this really happening? WDSU reporter Heath Allen visited today's catch three days after it reopened. If you open it, they will come. Three days ago, today's catch opened its windows and began selling seafood dinners and sandwiches. And it was about so much more than food. It was about seeing friends and neighbors again, about trading stories, about getting by. There was just so much uncertainty when Katrina hit. I mean, we didn't even have a grocery store here to get groceries. We had to go to Slidell. The Pullmans knew it was risky to come back, but a lot of people were taking risks then. We took a chance and it worked. Yeah, yeah. You know? The risk paid off with a big reward. And I mean, it was like a, like a big picnic here every day. Every people day. People on hoods of their cars. Yeah, I mean, it was just like every day this was the happening place. Go to today's catch for lunch. I mean, which kind of, I'm not saying the only guy in town, but. You know, one that, that really came out and, and, and played a, a huge part. And the devastation from St. Bernard Parish has spurred hope and recovery for other disaster locations across the U.S. The St. Bernard Project was founded in March of 2006 by a couple from Washington, D.C., after they volunteered in the parish following Hurricane Katrina. Since then, the group has rebuilt homes for more than 900 families in the New Orleans area and after disasters in Joplin, Missouri, Staten Island, New York, Rockaway, New York, and Monmouth County, New Jersey. Up next, it has been a tough 10 years for St. Bernard, but the parish and its people have survived. What does the next decade hold for those who came back? The challenges ahead when Katrina 10 years forward returns.